You have to remove the exhaust. <coughs> you can see here, all exhaust is removed. The X pipe. Then you have to remove. This is the parking brake. to loosen it and then you remove those two bolts here to make it loose so have enough play to remove these those guys you're gonna have to remove those two bolts they are supporting the gearbox on the cradle side you have to disconnect the magnetic ride this sensor you have to remove the brake caliper so I use a small trick to make it stay there you have to remove all your suspension you have to remove this guy as well let me put some light this guy here it's for the magnetic ride as well, it's a level sensor, height sensor. Okay. So you have to remove this guy to make it loose from the cradle, otherwise it's gonna go down with the cradle when you're gonna lower it. Have you see same on the other side, you have to remove all this harness to make it loose yeah, trying to all this harness all this going to the magnetic ride high sensor to your IBS sensor as well here's this one and so you have to make it loose from the cradle as well I'm learning while, I, while I'm doing it but uh, so obviously Disconnect these boots so it's done on the other side. So it's a big mess in the garage. As you can see here, I made it loose. What is a major pain in the butt is to remove those those covers. Enfin, those, it goes with uh, the air ducts. It's to uh, move the airflow. From here, remove from the side. Here, and it goes there. And then you have this deflector plate, which cool the brake holder. And uh, this is held by very small screws like that. And they are totally inaccessible. I don't even know how I'm gonna yeah, go here. I don't even know how I'm gonna put them back together when I have to reassemble. So this is where I'm at right now. So to remove the boot, you first have to use like a pry bar, like this one make it loose from the side from below here you push it this is how I got it from last side and then you need to pull you know since everything is loose you need to pull I should come at least it came on the other side So I got it. You can see there. It's out. You need to be careful not to damage the, the seal. Something I will have to check. 
still okay i hope it is so now i should be able to remove the cradle so you have those four bolts this one this one here and same on the other side so just gonna check if all the harnesses are out I loosen this brake line there is a hard brake line it is attached on the cradle for the, the right side rear you can see everything is winning so I will have to disconnect this one and I'm gonna drop the gearbox which is here drop the gearbox and the, the rear end have to do that at the same time. We have all kind of connectors to disconnect. Right. Getting ready to drop the cradle. So I'm using a transmission jack. A Pittsburgh. 800 pounds which is more than enough and so all the bolts are loose and so I'm gonna start to lower it in a few minutes on the side notes I forgot to tell you but <laughs> tell you guys but I'm supporting the gearbox here, right of the edit of the torque tube with a pallet uh, with a, a jack because I don't want to have all the weight of the gearbox working all, all its weight on the motor mounts in the front so I'm supporting it here I see some people doing it without it not on C7 on C6 but uh, better safe than sorry on that It's always good, good to double check your work. As you can see, I forgot one, one strap, one strap here. This thing is loose, so it should be good. to lower it slowly Ah, fuck. I forgot this one. So, finishing the lowering of the cradle. Looks like something is catching. <laughs> Everything seems to be free, 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 free. Okay. This is a sick car box. So it's a ground spar and then swapping to a zero six car box. This ground spar has a KTEC engine, five fifty five wheel. 
So Stingray Z51 gearing is crap. So you can see here the EDIF module, which is connected to the rear diff here. And since I'm not sure how to disconnect those guys, and also there is a procedure if you lose all in the circuit. I don't know if it uses uh, the gear differential all or something else, or separate circuit. I see a purge line here. So, since I'm not sure, I'm going to remove the whole module at the same time as the whole assembly. So, I'm not doing something wrong. I don't have issues because I don't have the procedure how to uh, relearn or reset this module. I have HP Twinner for my uh, my tune, but it's not as accessing those modules. So I started disconnected all the old lines. I remove the muffler also. I to remove the old muffler to access to the, to the rear diff. So I disconnected the old coolers line for the rear diff. I'm gonna do the oil lines for the gearbox. Then I'm gonna try to disconnect as much as I can all the all the electrical <laughs> the electrical um, sorry for my English and French uh, harness. Especially the top sensors there. And then I'm gonna have to go inside and disconnect the gear lever. And then we'll be able to start bolting the whole assembly and remove it. Zio 6 car box. Okay, so the gear box and the rear end is out. I would say the most annoying part of all of this is removing all the wiring harness. It's a pain in the butt. So now I'm gonna uncouple the gearbox from the rear end, final gears, and we're gonna put this little guy and then we start to put back everything back together. So now as you can see, I'm dropping the transmission. So I disconnected the uh, the old lines for the old cooler for the gearbox. I kept everything attached on the ELSD because um, I wanted to make sure I didn't mess this guy up. All the harnesses are disconnected except the last one there. So I'm gonna do that now. I supported the torque tube. Crap, sorry. Here, because I don't want it to go too low. Otherwise, the intake manifold is going to take a beating if not because it's tilting the whole drive line. Right. 
so now I'm separating the gearbox for different from the differential.